Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on Valheim. Now, I want to preface this, everything in the background looks different, it's because essentially what happened, Valheim updated its game and legacy saves got pushed out. Now it did give me the option to recover them, uh, unfortunately my Outlander character and the Outlander save which I made for this video, or for this video series, uh, unfortunately I could not recover it, didn't give me the option to recover it, so I spent a lot of time, and I mean a lot of time, building this stuff back up to the point where we kind of left off. Uh, I've got Ektir's power up, I've got my pickaxe, I've got all the things I had in the previous episode, I've got a little bit less than what I had in terms of food and stuff like that, but I do have a little dockyard now, there is a reason why I have a boat, there is a reason why I have a boat. Uh, that is the reason why I have a boat. <laughs> that right there. There's house. There's the house. There's the standing stones. And there's Ektir's, um well, sigil, essentially the boss fight. I had to sail over here and I ended up getting pushed south and then I get pushed back home. Uh, but I had to go across and fight him. So, we have a boat. We have a raft. I don't know what to name it, but we have a raft. We have a, li we have a little baby raft. Now, the cool thing is, right, the cool thing is this mod allows me to build a large raft. You see the difference in the, the, the overall cost of things. Uh, 20 wood versus 40, 12 uh, leather scraps, 6 deer hide and 15 resin versus 6 scraps and 6 resin. It's quite a substantial uh, boat by the way. I have seen it, I have, I have seen the looks of it and it's a very substantial looking boat but it is just a raft. Let me eat some... Uh, some food here, but this is the house. Let me just show you. I had to spend a little bit of time building this up. We have a level 2 workbench, which is what we had in the previous episode. Uh, not as fancy, not as not as a uh, not as interesting looking as the as the old house, but we have this. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put either chickens or boars in here. I think I might put boars in here because that might be a good place to actually, you know, cultivate them. I've also got this little place up here that I built. This is my little storehouse because it's away from, well, obviously, you know, the sea. I built it up on high ground in here and we have a nice big array of chests. They are not organised, they're not filled. I simply built this because I know what ex I know exactly what will happen eventually throughout these episodes and through this series. Uh, we will be getting quite a substantial amount of uh, of gear and resources. And let me just kill this chap right now. He's he's running. Fool! You fool! I'll put that away. There we go. Grey dwarf eyes. Right. But here is the house. Here is the here is the house. Here's the storehouse. We've got a little area to cultivate some pigs, some boars, uh, some chickens. Just something, something to be cultivated here. We've got some additional chests here. I separated them into just natural stuff. Uh, flint, rocks, and a whole lot of wood. <coughs> Excuse me. I've still got a bit of a cough on me. I've still got a bit of a, a dodgy throat. So I do apologise if you hear me coughing every now and again. In here we've got our trophies. I've got some additional queen bees if, in case I want to make a couple of more beehives. I've got my bed. I've got a nice area to just sit down and chill, do all my cooking and stuff like that. I don't necessarily have a big area for a chimney. I never bothered with a chimney. It doesn't really smoke me out here. Uh, I've built this high enough that the smoke just bellows across the top. It doesn't really filter through here, but it doesn't really smoke me out. It doesn't really smoke me out. And I've got a comfort level of 5, so I'm well rested as well. Right, I'm going to just quickly do a little bit of a sleep. And we'll start the day anew. Right, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Right, now that we have a pickaxe, now that we have... All the uh, all the items that we really you can really only get at the very start of this game. It's time to go into the Black Forest now. I have intentionally built right beside the Black Forest because that's exactly what we did the last time. We essentially built right next to the Black Forest because we were going to use that as a mode of you know gathering all of our uh, our copper and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, seagulls are what. I want to get them, I really want to shoot them. 
I'd also like to do some upgrades to my overall tools and some maybe some upgrades to my overall equipment as well. But let's go see if we can let's go see if we can find some copper. Let's see if we can find ourselves some copper. Whilst dealing with these chaps right here. Always go for the parry, it's always easier to do the parry. There we go, parried. Dead. Not a problem at all. Right. The Black Forest kind of starts around here. You can see where the meadows kind of kind of cuts in here and it's got a bit of a, a Black Forest right here. We've also got a mountain, by the way. We do have a mountain right here. I will not be going up there until I have, well, some really half-decent gear. The reason why I don't want to go up there, and for people who have never played Valheim before, there are wolves. Hey, there's some, uh, I didn't notice these. Some runes, some, uh, some longship runes. Oi! You just threw a rock at my head? You delinquent. Get in the bin. Bin. In the bin. In the drink. There we go. Have to, I can't, can't get sidetracked here. We're trying to look for, uh, we're trying to look for copper here. Right, if we're going to find copper, it's probably going to be up here. It's going to be probably deeper into the Black Forest itself. I love the way that the Black Forest kind of changes the, uh, get, how dare you throw that rock at me? I'm waiting, I'm, I'm just waiting for him to parry. That's what I'm waiting for right there. That's what I'm waiting for. What a loser. What a loser. What a loser. Give me your eyes. As I was saying, I love the way that the the meadows, the colour change from the meadows to the black forest. How it goes from a really nice, warm, welcoming, inviting colour and then it just completely shifts to this cold, you know, ominous, kind of very misty blue colour. Very cold colour. Oh, that's why there's loads of them. There's a there's a tower right here. I'm really supposed to be looking for, I'm really supposed to be looking for some, some copper. Oh, some copper here. But if there's loot to be had, there's loot to be had. Oh, there's skeletons. It's not what I wanted. Oh, there's a, there's copper right there. They're really following me. They're actually following me. Oh, it's an archer. Rush the archer! Oh, golly, you you hit hard. Right, cool. There's the copper, and there's some carrots too. And there's some tin. Oh, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away! Come on, hit me. Bonk! Get, get done, loser. Oh, he's away. Right. This is what we're here for. Ooh, give me that. Give me that. This is exactly what we're here for. This right here. The carrots too. The carrots too. The carrots are what we need as well. But this thing right here. This big copper deposit. This is what we're after today. And the good thing is, the tin deposits right there, those things right there, that makes our bronze. That'll make our bronze. Right, how far am I away from my house? Well, I'm not that far. Right, let's just double check to see where I am right now. Any copper? Sometimes you can actually find copper in the water as well, which is kind of odd. Right. My, right, I can see, I can see my dock land. I can see my docks over there. So we're not that far away. So let's get to some, uh, let's get to some hammering, shall we? And what we'll start with, we will start with a tin. We'll start with a tin. We'll start with this. Tell you what, we'll get a nice little platform. Like that, and we'll just start hammering the hell out of this. There we go. Lots of tin. Lots and lots of tin. We'll need to be very careful of my uh, my carry weight here because I don't want to be carrying too much guff. Right, there should be some more tin. Aha! 
More tin. I think it's five hits. Didn't mean to do that. That's five hits and we got our tin. We got another six there, I believe. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll get like a full stack of tin. We'll take it home. And then we will return for the copper. This won't be an overly exciting episode. Uh, as you can quite clearly tell. Because we will be mostly doing all the mining side of this game. It's one of my favourite parts, believe it or not. But beside the building. Beside the building, I love mining in this game. I love mining in this game. Aha, tin. More tin. Give me that tin. Give a pack of tinnies, eh? Right. Oh, are we... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to toss them. I'm going to toss them. Right. We are overburdened, but that is all right. That's totally fine. What can we do to alleviate this? So what we'll do is we'll just chuck them down. Pick up some wood. I could go back and get that other wood that I, that I dropped as well. I just want to quickly make a little chest, that's all. What I should really do... What I should really do is build a, build a station right here. A little building station. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck those out. There we go. Just batter down all these bushes because they're only they're only going to cause an obstruction to me. Right. There's a nice downed log right here. Some little bushes. One more hit. There we go. Perfect. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a little... Oh, kind okay, of station area where I can repair all my stuff and essentially transport this stuff out of here as well. Right, let's get our bench down. Let's get some walls up around it just so it's nice and concealed, nice and covered. One there. That one there. That one there. Get the roof sections. Rotate that round. Lovely. Excellent. Right. Excellent. All repaired. Furniture. Just like that. And now what we can do is we can do this. Oh, you rat bugger. Get in the bin. There. How about that? How do you like me now? Uh, I am actually going to save some of this stuff here. Actually, I don't want to, don't want to be throwing away any of this stuff. Actually, the wooden stuff I can throw away. That's totally fine. But now that we've got a little station here, what we can do now is I can wander around and just hammer the hell out of all this tin now. And now that we've got that little, fir that little, um, that little box right back there, perfect. I might take that out because that will only cause me problems. That thing right there. There's more copper right there. You can see the veins. You see the veins? <laughs> right. One last little look around for some more tin here. And then we'll go ham hammer some uh, hammer some copper. I love this game. Oh, I love this game. It's so good. Excuse me, little... Uh, little dudes. Right, I'm on away. I'm on away. I'm on away. There's another tin deposit right there. You keep running up that hill and back down towards me. What do you expect's gonna happen? Just launch my spear at it. <laughs> oh no, you're still here. Ah. <laughs> right, how much tin have we got? We've got another full stack. Perfect. I believe. And I, I can't I can't fully remember if this is right or not. It's two copper to one one tin, I believe. Two copper to one tin. And that should that should get me bronze. 
The other thing that I need to do here is also get some circling cores. Now, circling cores, I need to wander around the Black Forest a wee bit for, um, essentially dungeons. And these dungeons will allow me to pick up circling cores. Circling cores will allow, to, allow me to build kilns and furnaces. So, that might be something. As soon as this copper deposit is kind of all shut... Oh, shit. Ooh! Ooh, my god, that was sore! Give me that back. Ooh! I need to take out his wee, wee pal. Come here. No, don't want to deal with you. Ooh, that was a nearly. Get rid of that crap. Perfect. Get some stamina back. Right, come on then. Oh, we both! Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. That was. Right, speared. Get speared. Woo! Oh, that was sore. That was sore. Oh, I missed! I missed! Oh, I missed again! He's right in front of me! Right, that's time. Got ya! Oh. Now, I have turned... I have changed some of the settings on this playthrough. I have made the combat more difficult. When I say more difficult, it means that I am susceptible to more damage, right? So, you may find me dying a lot in this in this playthrough. Um, the reason why I've turned it up to hard is to give it a wee bit more of a challenge, uh, to obviously test my skills in this game, and to be a little bit more entertaining as well, because it's, it's always funny when the haha -ha YouTuber dies, isn't it? <laughs> oh shit, there's more. Stop throwing bloody stones at me, you, you pig! Oh, there we go. Get dunked, loser. What a loser. What a loser. I'm just gonna toss that stuff in there, because I don't need it. I just need the copper here. What you'll find is, when you're mining through this stuff, uh, you will get a lot of stone back as well. Like, right there I got five stone, and I got like, three copper in that. Oh no, I got way more than that. I think I, have, I, think I get four. Come on! Break! Shatter and die! <laughs> right! We've almost got a full stack of copper. We have a full stack of copper. What's that? Oh, archer. Woo! Uh -huh. You can't shoot me b behind something that's solid. Oh, maybe you can. Ooh. <laughs> I'm really cutting this close, by the way. If you're wondering where my health is, it's the bottom left. It's the one that says 20 on it. <laughs> Bloody hell. I end up dying here. Oh. I can't up upgrade my uh, or repair my uh, my clothing right now because I don't have a level two uh, a level two workbench. I'll need to work towards getting that. Well, what am I talking about? I've already got one of those back at the house. I need to get a level three. Is what I need to get or a level four. That'd be handy. I'd be I'd be incredibly handy to get a level four. Now, 
I'm only mining the surface of this, by the way. I'm only mining the surface of this. If I was to dig down, the rest of this copper copper vein or copper deposit is sitting underneath my feet. I'll show you. I'll just show you for an, as an example. Look. See? If I was to dig further down over here as well, you would end up finding that it's a big blob. A big boulder, essentially. So, I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna mine partially the top of this. It may not give me the amount of copper that I need, but I don't want to waste too much time. Especially in this, 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 you know, this episode. What I will do is I will get the rest of this though. I'll, I'll get the rest of this one. 13 copper, that's good. So if I, if I can try and get an additional stack after I finish this stack here, we should be absolutely dandy. Yeah, see if I just... You, you will eventually see that there is in fact more rock underneath here. Or I could be totally lying. I could be lying. Unless I've... Unless that's the top. That was the top. Hmm. Surely not. Let me just confirm this. Unless this is a really weird node. Because if, if this is a weird node, then I might get more than I think. Oh, no, I was right. I was totally right. I was right. It does go down. Ah, look, 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 look. It does go down. It does go down. <laughs> I feel like it's that stupid meme on YouTube. It don't go down. It does go down. <laughs> it's the two guys in the boat trying to go down the river or down the canal. It does go down. Of course it goes down, you dick. <laughs> There's no other way to go for it, you know what I mean? Right. You can kind of see the outline of it on the ground here. Oh, just, oh man. More food, more food, more food. More stamina. At the moment, I'm using two stamina foods mixed with a health food. You can kind of see that from the little uh, the little fork icon. So I'm using these three. So I'm using seared honey, raspberries, and cooked deer meat. Just for a little bit of a health boost. But ma mainly using the raspberries and the honey as like a stamina boost. Come on! There we go. Even more sitting here. We should be getting our, our full stack soon. Oh, 10 off. That's good. Oh, hold on. Let's go. Ah, there we go. There's another, almost another full stack. Almost another full stack. We've pretty much spent the whole day here. I think after we've cleared the that top section right there of the copper deposit, we'll go have a little look for circling cores. Because I, I, I feel like uh, I feel like destroying a couple of you know skeletons. Right, show me your goods. Right, that's a full stack because we've got twenty seven in the box. So we've got to, we've got three on us. Perfect. I just want to get started on another stack just for right now because that'll allow me to do quite a lot of bronze at the very start of this game the very start of this playthrough there's nine so what we'll do is we'll just go along here we'll leave that we'll leave that hanging in this in the uh the air like that because what i'll do is i'll go around this and see if i can try and do a big break i'll see if i can try and demonstrate this Come on! Come on! There we go. Right, this bit might be a wee bit difficult to get the big break going. But, I don't think it's, uh, it's impossible. So what you want to do is have it so it's levitating like this. Have it so it's kind of, you know, hovering in the air. And around it, you mine. It sounds like Yoda. Around the copper deposit, you mine. Yes. Right, mine around it, just like so. I was actually sheltered there for a second. There, you see that? 
the wee icon at the top right beside my minimap came up. You are sheltered. You are in a mine. Oh, we've hit. We've hit another. It might, that might actually be another bit of copper. So if I mine here. If I just get this down a wee bit. Oh, I don't think we'll be able to do it. I don't think we'll be able to do it. And it's getting very dark. Very dark indeed. Right. Enough uh, enough fannying about. Let's just get the rest of this cut, cut down. I want to get one more stack. One last stack. That's all I want. And then we'll move out. Then we'll move towards getting something a wee bit more interesting. Oh, no, man. Let's go. Come on, over here. There we go. That's the good thing about having that right there. Perfect. Excellent. Right, come on. I really want to get this and do a big break on it, but I don't think I'll be able to do it. <clears throat> what essentially, let me just explain what the, the, what the big break, or the way that I describe it as a big break. Um, essentially what happens is you mine around this... Uh, this copper deposit. The game tells the copper deposit it is floating and it should crumble, but because it is a solid entity that requires the, the player's input to crumble, as soon as you destroy one part of this, it essentially just all, it just all destroys. All of it gets destroyed. Oh, we might have. Do we have it? We have it. We have it. We finally have it. Right. Get out. Come on. Come on. See if I chuck that. Holy sh! Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Right, that's one down. Come on, big boy. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let him have that hat. Gonna let him have that hat. Right, we have officially got our stuff sorted now. So what I'm going to do right now, because the enemies tend to come over here and destroy my stuff, I'm just going to put this up like this. Just essentially just going to... I'm just essentially going to do this. This is, that, that, this is the best way to protect it. Just for right now. Nothing too special. Nothing fancy. Just something basic. You know, something basic like that. It's to stop them attacking the uh, the crafting bench in there. I don't want them to destroy that. Like, at all. I don't want them destroying that. Right. Let's just mark this area. Uh, let's use that. Mark that. Copper. Cool. What we're going to do is we're going to return home. Uh, I might just I might just pick up all this stuff, actually. Because this, this is good to have. This will be good to have as, like, storage. Because there's plenty of wood here. Especially from taking out all of those, uh, those grey dwarfs. Oh! Yeah, plenty of, plenty of wood. Come here! Come here! Loser. You keep running away because you want to throw a stone at me. Get some of that resin as well. The resin's quite an important uh, resource. At least to me it is, because I always find myself running out of resin. I end up finding myself like, huh, I'm sitting in complete darkness. I need resin for my torches, so I tend to keep it a lot. Not a lot of folk that I know play, uh, play this and they keep resin. They tend to just throw it away, because eventually they'll get coal and stuff like that. Charcoal and things like that. Um, but I tend to keep it. I tend to keep it because it's a cheap it's a cheap resource. You get it from the trees, you get it from the grey dwarfs. Why do I hear badness? I love that you can see the uh, the torches through the fog. I love that. There we go, home safe. Right, let's put this away now that we're home. We're going to go to... Oh, there are enemies nearby. Perfect. I need to go and deal with them. Hey! What are you doing in my house? Beat it! Squatters!
Get dunted. Give me your stuff. Get away from the bees. They're my bees. Leave them wee bees alone. Now I'm going to dry myself off first. Just get the rest of that cooked up. Don't want to sleep when I'm wet. It doesn't do anything, but I don't want to sleep when I'm wet. Sleep having a pissy pants in the, in the middle of the night. You feel rested. Comfort level five. Right. Let's uh, let's store all our stuff now. We've actually filled this chest full of uh, of wood now, which is really good. I'll put that in there, that in there, whoa, and that. Right, let's go and see if we can find a dungeon. Because the dungeon part is uh, is quite important. Oh, bloody oh, necks and everything, man. Oh. Whoa. Go away, you wee bugger! I'll turn your tail into a kebab! Go away, you! Ugly wee things. And the boar actually tried it. The boar tried it. Right! Let's go find a dungeon! That right there is not a dungeon. That is not a dungeon by any means. That is simply just a tower. If there are no dungeons on this island, we may have to sail to that black forest over there, which is the northeast island. So, keeping my eyes peeled for anything that could resemble a dungeon. With that, thank you. Don't want to go up there. That's hostile. That's dangerous. That's bad. It's also not the best place to go if you've not got the right clothing as well, because you will die from the elements. What's that? Carrot seeds. More carrot seeds. Oh, this game. I'm all about the farming. I'm all about the farming. Oh, yes. That's what I need as well, right there. Blueberries. Some more thistles. Excellent. Gimme, gimme. Hold on. That's what we need. Right there. More thistles. Fiso. Where are all the dungeons, man? Oh. That's not a cool dungeon. <laughs> That's not a dungeon at all. That's a cave troll, or a troll cave. Huh, they have a troll cave. Or a cave troll. Right. We must find a dungeon. There has to be a dungeon about here somewhere. There's got to be one cutting about here somewhere. Unless I am totally unlucky here. I'm also just... Kind of discovering that there's actually loads of carrot seeds as well. Absolutely tons of them. That's really, really good. Carrots make for a very good resource late game. Carrot soup and stuff like that. Loads of uh, loads of good cooking recipes use carrots. So if I can get more carrot seeds, the better. If I can get more blueberries, I can make uh, Queenie's Jam. Okay, that is a host of... Assholes. Right, I think I'm I'm branching off into the meadows here. Uh oh, I think we need to go and find ourselves a dungeon, ladies and gents. I don't think we're gonna get one. Not on this island at least. Yeah, I think I think we need to sail. I think we need to sail, ladies and gents. We need to sail. Oh, wait a minute. There's a black forest right here. Right. 
Ignore me. We're gonna go. A, we're gonna go a wander. We're gonna go on the other side of this island. See if we can find ourselves a little dungeon. Cause I need. I desperately need a dungeon here. If there's a dungeon here and it's only got like a couple of circling cores, that's perfect. That's totally fine. Um. But I. I. I need. I need at least one dungeon. One. I need one. <laughs> the mountain. One of the most dangerous biomes in the game, in my opinion. <gasps> Good lord. That's a lot of mushrooms. They're coming home with me. The reason why I say it's so dangerous, or why I feel it's one of the most dangerous, one of the most challenging biomes in the game, if you've got the wrong clothing items, you die. If you get picked up by a drake, you die. If you get found out by a wolf, you die. If you get found by a wolfing, you die. <laughs> there's uh, there's there's no there's no two way two ways of putting it. You're gonna die. Oh, something something good. Uh, oh, no, oh, great dwarf, get him, get him. No, 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 don't get me. Yes, great dwarf, get him. Get him. Yes. Get him. Get him. I'll backstab him. I'll backstab him. Yes, great dwarfs. Let's go. I hear another. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, that's even worse. That's even worse. I'm oh oh oh! You just smashed the uh... oh! They're all smashing each other. Cool. Ah ha ha! There's a dungeon right there. In we go. In we go. In we go. In we go. Right, get rid of that crap. Oh! Holy sh! Holy hell! Oh, there's a few of them. Oh, there's a few of you boys, isn't there? Oh my god. I need a couple of Grey Dwarf to come over here. Woo! Woo! Give me a spear. Give me a spear. Give me a <laughs> Need to be careful with my stamina. That's right. Yes! Let's go! Woo! Hat, get juked, loser. <laughs> I'm, 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 I am by definition cheesing this right now. <laughs> I'm literally cheesing this right now. Right. Whoa! Get. Put. Done. Right. In we go. Burial chambers. Hey. That's what I need. What are two of them? Oh! <laughs> let me out, let me out, let me out! Right. Hold on. Crafting. Oh, we need five! We need five! We need five of the things! Right, I need to Oh, God, I need to be careful here, man. I need to be so careful. Ooh, I need to be so careful. Right, in we go. Back in we go. We're gonna go in. Back in we go. Ha! Loser! Right. Right, 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 right. We're good, we're good. What the hell was that? Was that a, was that a spooky skeleton? Oh, 
Okay, dead end. That's not cool. Ominous noises. That's that's not cool either. All right, cool. So every, it's pretty much telling me to go this way. Hello. Oh. Nice. Nice. Oh, sorry. Oh, I need to go that way. I need to go that way. Oh, no, man. Come on. Destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. Okay, he's dead, he's dead, he is dead. Yes, let's go. Come on. Get all this stuff. Okay, that's where the that's where the elder is. Whoo! How much do we have? Oh, we've got eight. That we've got eight. That's good, but it's not enough. Eight, but it's not enough. Oh, we need to go get more. We need to get more. We need to go get more. Oh. I'm leaving. See it. Right. I got a startling core. Right. So let's mark this area. Um. Uh, chamber. Burial chamber here. Okay. We need to find one more. Because we've got just enough to make a kiln. We've got not. We've, won't, we've We're missing two. Two two cores, and we can get ourselves a furnace. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping we can find another dungeon. If we can find one more dungeon. We've done it. It's, 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 we've sorted it. Like, there's no problems. There's not going to be an issue anymore. We'll be able to make a furnace. We'll be able to make our, uh, our kiln. You don't feel, ah, uh, of course I don't feel rested anymore. I'm long to the bloody black forest. Oh, the deer getting scared of me. <laughs> Hello. Try going down this way. We might not have a big enough uh, black desert for this, or black desert, black forest for this. That might be the only one that we've encountered, or might be the only one that's here. Okay. I'm just going to scout as much as I possibly can here. If I see mushrooms, I need to pick them up. If you see mushrooms, pick them up. You can start crafting some really good uh, some really good meals later on with uh, mushrooms. Oh, carrots. Carrots. Okay. All right, okay, all right. Oh, God, oh, God. Ooh. I didn't mean to disturb you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There we go. Oh, more black forest down here. Oh, give me those. Oh, we we might be able to get another uh, another dungeon here. This, it looks as though there would be a dungeon right here. There probably could be. I need to find another dungeon, man. I need to find another dungeon. Am I right on the side of the, oh boy, that might not be a, <sighs> that might not be a thing that we can do. We're so close to the, uh, the mountain. 
Oh, we might not have the room for this. Boys, we might have to go sailing. We might have to go sailing. Yeah, I think we need to go sailing, guys. We might have to go... Across the pond. Possibly right here. That's a black forest right there. I believe there's a black forest right here as well. So there might be more dungeons over there. But we've got... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh! Did you hear that snarling sound? That's a wolf. There's wolves here. I'm not okay with that. Right. Oh, give me these, give me these, give me these, give me these. So many blueberries. So many blueberries. Get to you. What we'll do is I'll run along this point right here. If we can find another dungeon, perfect. If we can't, then we're just going to have to sail. We're going to have to sail to a new island and pick up the resources from it. Woo! Carrots! Carrot seeds! Give me them carrot seeds! wonder how many are following me. Probably about three or something like that. I wish these were copper nodes. These would be really good, really, really good copper nodes right here. Anything else down here? I also need to be careful, but oh, there's a copper node right there. It's right beside the meadows. Right, I think we have to sail, boys. Boys and girls, we're going to have to sail. We're going to have to go, uh, we're going to have to go on the small raft somewhere. Probably the northeast island. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. Because it doesn't look like we're going to get ourselves another uh, another dungeon. Not anytime soon, at least. Right. Let's start heading home. May as well, at this point. We've got an inventory full of foods. Raw materials. We've got circling cores. I think that was a success. That was an overall success. And... We have copper here and tin, two, st two to three stacks of each, which means we can get some. Uh, we we can get some uh, some bronze quite quite early on here. What I might do is I might, oh, I might I might jump back to that chamber and see if there's actually anything I could have missed. Do you think there's something I missed there? Do you think there's more in there? I think there might be. I'm going to give it one more cursory glance, right? I'm going to go inside, have a little look around. If there's nothing else there, we'll call it quits, okay? If there is, if there is more circling cores though, oh, I'm going to be a happy boy. I'm going to be a very happy boy. Very, very happy. Get rid of that. Get that there. Right, one last try. Right, there's no, there's no way ups or downs here. Uh, nah, I don't see anything. I don't see any, any roots, any additional roots that I could, that I could have taken. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, there's a couple of mushrooms that I've missed. That's a dead end. That's nothing. That's just a big chest. Dead end. Let's double check over here. Dead end. Dead end. Yeah, this is a small one. Right. Leaving this. Alright. Now that we've, uh, now that we've fully searched that... Now that we've 
concluded that it's fully searched, let's go home. Do you see him? Do you see him? Look, that's not a tree, that's a troll. Literally a troll. <laughs> what a bugger, what a bugger, what a rat. Just sitting there waiting for me. Right, home's not too far away. Of course we're going to have to deal with the bloody natives as well. We're going to have to cook up some more food as well and hopefully, hopefully my, uh, my bees have been quite productive. Hello. Oh. I ran out of stamina. And he ran away. Okay. There we are. There's home. Yeah. Now we're home. Yeah, we've got lots of honey. Lots and lots of honey. Perfect. Love to see it. Right. Let's see what we actually need for these. So, we should probably do... Let's do a... Let's do a smelter first. Let's do a smelter first. And we'll put it up here. Yeah, we'll put that there. And I'll put the kiln right here, or the kiln over here, or something like that. So, we've got ourselves a furnace, which is perfect. Now we can refine all the ore. We just need some, uh, well, we just need some charcoal. Wait a minute. We don't need charcoal to... I have an idea. It's gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna risk uh, losing some stuff. But, yeah. I can burn, I can burn food and turn it into charcoal. It ruins the food, but it, it produces charcoal. So, I could theoretically not need a kiln. I just have to waste a lot, a lot of food. It could be a thing. It could be a thing, but, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be today's episode on Valheim. I hope you have enjoyed it. It was a relatively... It was a relatively stay-at-home episode, really. We did a little bit of mining. Went a little bit of uh, exploring. And we did some... Uh, we did some... Did some pretty good fighting. We did some pretty good fighting. We got our copper deposit. We got our tin deposits. We've got it all smelt... We've got it all... Uh, all kind of... Collected up into ores. We just have to transport it from the copper area. To home. We managed to get ourselves a little burial chamber. We got these little things, circling cores. But the next episode, we are going to sail from home. We're gonna sail from here. And we're gonna sail up up here. Right up here to this black forest right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna park the boat on this little island. We're gonna make a little kinda rest area and what we're going to do is we're going to move through this black forest and see if we can find some additional burial grounds that way we can get some additional circling cores and maybe we can get two furnaces or two kilns or even two of each which should be really really cool but anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching today if you've enjoyed today's episode leave a thumbs up on this video tell me what you think in the comments below by the way i forgot to say this is a modded version of valheim this is a modded version of valheim and what I will do is I will put put in the in the uh, description all the mods that I'm currently using, so you guys can go away and check it out for yourself. You can go through the thunderstorm, you can do whatever kind of mod deployer that you want to do, and you can do it that way, and you can have a lot of fun with it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been watching my videos for a long time and you've still not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Ring the little bell, you stay up to date with videos just like this, as well as a Sunday night live stream which starts between six and seven p.m. UK. We go for about 3-4 hours playing my favourite game, which is Scum. Sometimes we'll play Valheim, sometimes we'll play Stalker. It's a variety usually. Usually we'll play a variety of different things. That as well, not just games, we'll also do some Warhammer 40k painting or 30k painting. It's usually a lot of fun. I love to see new faces, I love to see new people in the chat. I'm a very talkative person and I like to meet new people as well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 
I'm gonna get this uploaded. I'm gonna do it, go away and do some uh, 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 some core exercises because I've not done any in a wee while because I've not been well. And I hope you all have a lovely day. As always, from the world of Valheim, I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time.